In today's video, we're going to see what happens if every NFL team had their worst starting quarterback in Madden history. First, I have to give you guys some notes on the video, some context. When I say worst quarterback, I mean lowest overall starting quarterback dating all the way back to Madden 01. That's the earliest we're able to see the ratings for all the starting quarterbacks. Thanks to MaddenRatings.Weebly.com. Secondly, clones are once again going to be allowed. There are a few quarterbacks quarterbacks that were uh you know the lowest overall starter for multiple franchises so we let it rock next no quarterbacks were given abilities okay there are a few that were in the high 70s low 80s we gave them star everyone else was normal and lastly we only counted quarterbacks that started at least one game for the team you know how madden gets released a few weeks before the season well some of the guys they have as the starter didn't actually play they were on like the practice squad or preseason roster but then got cut so only if they started game during the regular season that's the guys we counted first up we have the chicago bears we had to go all the way back to madden 02 Cade mcnown was their starter he was a 70 overall for the bengals we had to go all the way back to madden 03 and this is a guy who was known for a headbutt while he was wearing a different uniform okay gus farad hopefully i said that right if not my apologies he was a 69 the buffalo bills were starting quarterback in madden history was ryan Fitz it's magic. Back in Madden 11, he was a 70 overall. Now, the Broncos quarterback almost had a clone in this video, but he didn't end up starting for the other team. I'm talking about Drew Locke. Back in Madden 21, he was a 70. The Browns quarterback shares a last name with the guy on your screen. Brady Quinn, back in Madden 10, started for the Browns at a 71 overall. As for Tampa Bay, we have a guy that threw with his right hand, even though his last name was left which Byron was a 74 overall back in Madden 10. The Cardinals new starter is gonna be Derek Anderson. In Madden 12, he was only a 70 overall. The Chargers have had a really good history of quarterbacks, so their worst starter was actually Justin Herbert back in Madden 21 when he was only a 70. This one I'm sure you guys have been waiting for. No, it was not clickbait, okay? The lowest overall starter for the Chiefs since Madden 01 was Patrick Mahomes homes at a 77 in mad 19 i have the proof trent green was a 78 brody croyle was a 78 matt castle they were all only one overall higher than mahomes but yeah it's crazy that he was actually their worst and their best i'm pretty sure that's the only one but well, actually no th there's probably one more the indianapolis colts worst starting quarterback was the ginger jesus carson Wentz in mad 22 was only a 72 the commanders worst starter was shane matthews Back in Madden 03, he was a 69. Another throwback name for the Dallas Cowboys. We got to go back to 03 as well. Quincy Carter was a 72 overall starter. Bars. The Miami Dolphins are going to be fielding a 69 overall starter. Jay Fiedler from Madden 02. The Philadelphia Eagles. Worst starting quarterback was a guy who's been uh, overlooked for a long time. Okay, even up until last season, Jalen Hurts was only a 71 at the start of Madden 22. His current teammate in real life is gonna be the guy starting for the Atlanta Falcons, Marcus Mariota. It was only a 71 at the start of this Madden, Madden 23. For the San Francisco 49ers, we had to go back to Madden 10. 69 overall, Sean Hill was leading away. The New York Giants were starting quarterback was this Madden as well. Dale Jones was only a 70 at the start. The Jacksonville Jaguars were starter was Gardner Minshew in Madden 21 when he was only a 70. The Jets are the first team to have a tie and it's four different quarterbacks at a 73 overall. Geno, Josh McCown, Sam Darnold, and Zach Wilson. It didn't matter who we went with so I just ended up going with Darnold. The Detroit Lions are going to be led by Jared Goff who's their worst starter. In Madden 23 he was only a 72 at the start and here's a guy who I'm pretty sure was the highest overall and the best best quarterback in their team's Madden history and now he's the worst starter since 01 83 overall Aaron Rodgers began the season in Madden 09 as QB1 for the Carolina Panthers worst starter we had to go back to Madden 03 Chris Weinke hopefully I pronounced that right man he was a 70 overall two straight videos where this guy is gonna appear on a team but this time it's in New England Cam Newton leading away for the Patriots only a 76 in Madden 
10-22. Silver lining to the Silver and Black's new starter is that he has incredible throw power. Jamarcus Russell, back in Madden 10, was only a 72 overall. Quarterback one for the Raiders. He went to Jared once again for the Los Angeles Rams. Golf was only a 73 overall in Madden 18. The Ravens new starter is a guy from Madden 03 by the name of Jeff Blake, a 72 overall. The New Orleans Saints new starter is a guy that's pretty famous. Jameis was only a 73 in Madden 22. Another quarterback that was very slept on up until this season is going to be starting for the Seahawks. Geno was only a 66 at the start of Madden 23. The Pittsburgh Steelers new starter is a perfect 69, okay? Mitch Trubisky was that overall at the start of Madden 23. Houston also has a quarterback from Madden 23. Davis Mills was only a 71 overall. The Titans new quarterback is all the way back from Madden 15. Jake Locker was a 75. And finally, the Minnesota Vikings new QB1 is Christian Ponder. From Madden 12, he was a 73. New best QB, Aaron Rodgers, Mahomes, and Cam is third. Don't worry, Mac Jones is not starting, okay? He's just a uh, really high overall. I made sure that all of these new quarterbacks are starting on their team. They're the highest overall on their team. I guess we're going to find out which franchise has a really good roster. Maybe a really good playbook, man. Who's going to make it to the Super Bowl? No one got the prediction right in the last video. Let's see if anyone can get it right this time. Darnold gets the Jets to the one seed. Locke gets the Broncos to the two seed. The Bills and Fitzpatrick make it. Titans, Patriots, and Cam. Bengals, Ravens all make it to the postseason. Mahomes misses out, but his team goes above 500. Same with Herbert and the Chargers. A lot of teams were really good. There's no like terrible teams in the AFC. Shane Matthews helps the Commanders get the one seed. Carter and the Cowboys end up second. The Niners, Lions, Giants, Panthers, and the Philadelphia all end up in the postseason. The Bucks, Falcons both end up above 500, but could not squeak in. AFC was definitely a little bit better, man. Bears went 2 and 15 with McNown. Ryan Fitzpatrick wins MVP on the 11 and 6 Bills. Carter ends up second, Matthews third. Stephon Diggs ends up with the OPOY in the AFC. Von Miller ends up with DPOY. So a lot of Bills players high in terms of rewards. We have Cooper Cup winning OPOY in the NFC on a 3 and 14 team. And Donald wins DPOY. So they still ate. Fitzpatrick, of course, the MVP had the most passing yards for Rot and then Cam along with Rodgers and Quincy Carter rounding out the top five. I'm going to scroll all the way down so you guys can pause if necessary. See what your team's quarterback stats were. Lowest pass yards in the league went to Jake Locker. 3,600 most passing touchdowns. Ryan Fitzpatrick, 45. Matthews, 43. Lock, 42. Quincy and Darnold, both 41 apiece. Which one shocks you the most? I, I'm kind of surprised Mahomes didn't do a little bit better. Rodgers threw the most picks. 23, even though he was the highest overall. Most rushing yards Derrick Henry had 110 yards per game. That man was eating as he usually does. Gonna scroll down real quick. Show you all the thousand yard rushers. JT and Jacobs along with Eckler had 18 rushing touchdowns. Show you everyone that had 10 plus and then receiving Cooper Cup every simulation. This man is always at the top when it comes to receiving yards. Almost 30 sacks for Vaughn. No wonder why he won deep. Yo, why Donald 21 and a half. Oliver in the top three. So the Bills are looking very scary in this simulation if you chose them or you know you haven't chose yet there's still time to pick your super bowl picks for the video in the wild card the broncos took care of the ravens eagles lost to the niners titans beat the patriots lions beat the giants Bengals lost to the bills and the panthers moved on beating the cowboys then buffalo took care of business against the jets the commanders beat the panthers the broncos and the titans had a shootout but denver moved on and then the niners almost dropped 50 on in Detroit. So now we have Sean Hill and the Niners taking on Shane Matthews and the Commanders and then Drew Locke in Denver taking on Ryan Fitzpatrick, the MVP and the five seed Bills in the conference championship. So this is showing you that, uh, you know, these teams have pretty good rosters, okay? The Commanders you might not think at first, but take a look at their squad, okay? To be able to be up 14-0 against a Niners squad who has a really good roster, 21-0 at halftime. This is unbelievable. Okay, there we go. Finally get some points. One possession game up oh, never mind two possessions late in the fourth quarter San Fran looking to make a late game comeback can Matthews keep the chains moving and get the commander 
Sanders to the next round. He's going to throw a dot for the first. Now, luckily for San Fran, the receiver went out of bounds. So they still have two timeouts and another chance to get off the field in the next three plays. Here's a run up the gut. Third and six. Commanders are going to pass the ball. Bosa's going to get the sack. And the Niners still have a chance. What does Sean Hill have in store for us? No timeouts. Needing a touchdown with only 47 seconds. Luckily, he has McCaffrey and Debo. He has a lot of talent to work with. And he throws a pick on the first play. Washington is moving on to the Super Bowl. What a performance by Shane Matthews. Four touchdowns. Now, if you remember, Buffalo got to the Super Bowl when we did the best quarterback in every team's Madden history. Can they do it again when we're doing the exact opposite? We have a close one. Drew Locke keeping his team in the game, heading into the second half. They're only down seven. Buffalo looking to extend their lead. They do. They're up two possessions. Broncos make it one. Another extremely close game this time in the AFC Championship game. Fitz Magic on the third and three. Looking to keep the chains moving. They're going to run the ball. What a tackle. Broncos forced the three and out, and they're going to get the football. An amazing punt right there from the Bills special teams. Now Drew Locke has to go 97 yards to tie this game up. That's a good start to Jerry Judy. Less than 30 seconds now. They're approaching midfield. Judy's going to get them across it for another first. They're going to spend their second time out. Looks like Denver's going to try the Hail Mary. I think they should have went for a little chunk, but at this point, you might as well. I mean, Locke's just going to wind up and he's going to throw a dot. They're down at the 11. Now it helps their chances a lot. First and 10, last play of the game. Incomplete. Didn't even give his teammate a chance to catch the ball. And Buffalo is going back to the Super Bowl. I'm trying to see what he was seeing, man. Where was he going with this football? At least throw it up. I guess, oh, there, were, there was pressure in his face. That was just bad blocking. O-line made their quarterback look bad. Look, he had no chance. None. He had to get rid of it. Ah, terrible end to the season if you're dead. Denver. This is the second time the charm for the Bills. They start off down three in this Super Bowl, but they strike back with two quick touchdowns and take the big lead in the second quarter. Uh, 24 to three. Washington's not going away though. They get another field goal in the third. Still down multiple possessions. Need to make a late game comeback and it's not looking likely. Buffalo is going to win this Super Bowl this time. Fitzpatrick works his magic and helps the Bills get their first Super Bowl bowl in franchise history and there you have it man so hey maybe digs and the rest of this offense not to mention their defense harris at running back is enough to get the job done in real life man the roster has to be really good to be able to carry a 70 overall fits magic even though he played really well he could not do it alone so there you go thanks for watching the video hopefully you guys enjoyed it destroy the like button if you did and i'll see you on the next one